Hello everyone, Xenonism here. Welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Last time we met a surprisingly kind Mobius. We need to hear from Nia. Your Majesty, there you are. Please, it's Nia. You aren't used to it yet, do you? Uh, I'm sorry, you're... Please forgive me, it's just... <laughs> it's fine. I may have taken my teasing a step too far, babe. Uh, I hope what I'm about to say doesn't come out the wrong way, but... Yes? It's just, you're our queen. We believed you were the one that gave us all life, and that we'd return to you in the end. You were like this awesome being high above. None of us could even dream of talking to you. And now you're just traveling along with us and chatting like it's an everyday thing. It's just really bizarre to me somehow. Like things have been switched around. It still feels a little strange. Could it be that it just hasn't sunk in yet? I see. <laughs> well, it's the same for me. Wh what? I'm sure I've told you this before, but please indulge me. While I was asleep in the Cloud Keep, I was getting information about what was happening in the world. So I knew long before that you were not M, but an independent being called Mio. But it was nothing more than information. I wanted to truly know you more than anyone else. But I couldn't touch you. Couldn't make contact. I felt so close to you. But you were still this distant, far-off thing. It was so frustrating. <sighs> but right now, you're so close, I can reach out and touch you. Speak with you, even. I never thought the day would come. It's a truly strange feeling. It's the same for me. Indeed. It's amazing, really, the way things worked out, don't you think? For sure. If I hadn't become Uroboros, I'd never have had the chance to meet you, Nia. Sometimes, a small pebble starts the avalanche which changes your whole future. Don't you think? No, I don't think you can put it all down to chance. Huh? What do you mean? I think we met because we were supposed to, Mio. It was meant to be. Because... to me, you're... Hey! Mio! Nia! We're heading out soon, guys. Get a move on or you'll get left behind. Okay, we're coming! Shall we go join the others? Sure. Let's do that. Mio? Yes? I'm really glad we got to talk like this. Yeah, me too. Oh my god. That is not even a tease, that is literally them. Might as well stating. Yeah, the these two are related. Now, we need to head to Murmur Rise in the Tear region. Don't believe it. There, since there's no other request. Wow. 
Huh? Get up. I see so everyone. I'm sorry. Not my intention. That sound. Bad. There's a neat monster there. The territorial wall bark in this game. Let's go face it.
Breaking muscles for this trip! Wait. Blasting stomp. We made it out alive. Thanks to Tyler's direction, no doubt. It works because you carried the plan out for the letter. Lands, arts. Head up there. Let's make our mark. Hey, that's a supply drop, right? Need a channel. Hey, get a load of this. We should be able to climb up with that. Ten. Watch your footing, guys. Topographical info update. Now we're here. Let's keep going. Let's go. Let's go somewhere.
We could be in for a shower. This is something decent, right? Here. What we, what we do? Just to get some crystal. Hope there's something useful here. Just to get some ether cylinders. Really? Is it because of those anzels? So I'm not fighting them. It's a bit of waste time. Hey, what's this thing? Hmm. Huh. No idea. Some kind of junk. Hey. Who's there? Hand it over. Noah, this guy. Yeah. He means business. Hurry it up. And by it, you mean this? Why would we ever hand it over to some knuckle-headed chump like? Guys, weapons ready. A grey matter. Mystery man. Come on now. Hey, you get the way. Not to get trapped. They broke away. Gotta face me. You're a lifesaver. What is this? You won't get away! Just one! Guy's got skills! I couldn't give an Arden's ass. He's gonna regret it. Guy needs a lesson! <laughs> Just to be sure, there's no chance we could talk this over. <laughs> Guess we can take that as a no, then. You lot, identify yourselves. Kavesi soldiers? Tell me, have you seen the man in the mask? We've been looking for him. Wait, they're with a bunch of Agnians. Must be those Ouroboros we've been hearing about. Traitors to the crown. Huh? Since when did we ever? Oh, you think you can talk your way out of a righteous beating? <laughs> Not today. Right over fight, can turn that on. Today's really not our day, is it? Yeah, it's getting kind of ridiculous by this point. We learned something pretty interesting, though. Yeah, they said they'd been looking for the man we fought against earlier. I wonder what happened. If Kevez is after him, then maybe he wasn't our enemy after all. I'll remind you, he did attack us, mate. Yes, that does make it hard to classify him as an ally. Some kind of deserter, perhaps? Hey, if he jumped in the river, he'll have been carried downstream. We could try and catch him at the bottom, figure out what's what. 
He may yet prove hostile, though. If he does, then we whack him. And if he doesn't, we listen to what he says. Great plan or what? I... Does that qualify as a plan to you? A plan takes forethought and... planning. What you did is post-hoc rationalize your own... <sighs> what do you think? Let's go and see. Not what I want to do. That smart. We didn't even get okay. Before we go down. Something so valuable here. Puzzle tree weird. Just need something, even a unique, a unique monster or that. Nope. The blunt would have been good. Still none. Come on, give me something. A landmark. A rest spot. Guys, get ready to fight! Uh, no. Don't plan to. From here. I figured that was this fog thing is something else. We've been spotted. Here. Here I was wanting to find <sighs> more tracking.
Pow. Yep, keep moving this way. Come on. Grab it. Ah, neat monster. This one's got character. Shall we tango? This will be a challenge. Don't lose focus. I need you, Mia. Enemy art, sumo press. That went pretty good, are you tie on? It means there were no holes in my strategy. Never for fights. Uh, Seeking for me. Gotta be a tuppy, huh? Keep your heads or lose them. Never a dull moment, eh? Great. I need you. I know what you want. He's a last road on to aim even higher. We're just getting warmed up. And there he is. Mass man. Finally. You're not getting away this time. I thought you might track me down. But I didn't think you'd be so kind as to bring me my prize as well. What? A bit heedless of you, don't you think? Uroboros. Huh? Wait, how does he know about us? Yeah, fishy. What are you all about then? I don't think I need to answer now. There were Kavesi troops looking for you. Come on, throw us the bone here. Look, we want to talk. If you could just open up a bit. Okay. Let's start with names. Ours are... Don't need them. Stick to the point. The Kavesi are after you, right? If you tell us what that's about, we... You do what? Huh? It's nothing that concerns you. Right, so if it did concern us, you'd answer. That's something. Are you our enemy? Hmm. Still keeping mum? If you stop prying, we'll have no reason for hostilities. Says the guy who lashed out at us before. Yeah, not mine. <laughs> oh, for sparks sakes, use your snuffing words! Cuny, chill. I hate people who won't say what they mean! Oh, this guy's flipping all my switches! Did you or did you not attack us just because you felt like it? Answer! It was just a warning. You neither need nor understand that thing that you have there. Or you stick your necks where they don't belong. What, so you're going to attack us again to get your hands on them? I told you clearly. Stop prying, and we won't have to fight. So you need this thing, then? Well... So... Does that mean you're... Wait. It seems you're followed. Followed? By who? Them again. Ha! We found you! I knew you were in cahoots. What? Stop being wrong! Now look what you've got us into. This blunder is entirely on you. But I'll lend you clean up. Wipe them out. Hang on, Alevnis. This mother does nothing by halves. What are you mumbling now, traitors? Not that I care, actually. Get them! <sighs> and 
They sure are persistent. It might be wise not to linger. Agreed. It'd be nice not to get wrapped up in any more scuffles. Uh, so why were those not after you anyway? Is it because of his sparkling personality? Uh, perhaps so. Oh, so now you acknowledge it. You can hold on to that. You mean... That shard from earlier? So you don't need it after all? I never said that. But I can't be bothered trying to convince you. Right. Because talking to people is just such a chore. In time, you will discover its purpose. But if you were to abuse it, I may have to dispose of you. It seems you can use your heads, even if just a little. I will choose to trust in my late friend's words. Gee, that makes us feel a lot better. I meant what I said. So now what? What will you do after this? Save your breath, Mio. It's not like he'll answer you anyway. I have something to take care of. Oh, so you'll answer her. Even if it puts soldiers on your trail? Naturally. All right, well, that's the end of that, then. Your life, your choices, man. Hey. What now? Don't die, you lot. Huh? If you need me, you can call me. I'll assist. Uh, that's rich coming from a guy that just tried to kill us. It was a warning. And a small test. What's this crap now? Honestly, I don't get this dude. I simply followed my friend's request. And your friend, that'd be who? When you say you'll help us, we can just take you at your word. Either way, I can't have the bearers of that thing running around unsupervised. Doesn't exactly inspire confidence. But hey, he's strong, so that's something. That's an awfully kind offer there, mister, but we don't even know what to call you. About time we got a name, don't you think? <sighs> Whoa, hey, stop right there! Your name, Spock, you spill it! Grey. Call me Grey. What was that guy's deal? Stuff if I know. Although he didn't look like a bad... Uh... I guess he kind of did look like a bad guy, huh? There does seem to be more to this story than we've seen so far. Just no fighting him again, please. Yeah, seconded. Punching his kind's not even all that satisfying. Grey, huh? Quest complete. If you have to call me something, call me Grey. Beauty. Well, last. I'll hit him, and then I'm gonna hit him again. I'll take real good care of the bad guys. Check them. Let's 
the left then. Huh. Good thing we found this. If it ends up being a hero quest, that's great. If it isn't, then oh well. Yes. I'd really hoped it would turn out to be nothing. Ah, it seems someone else got here first. That gear... must be a high-rank colony. Slay the Ouroboros where they stand! I'd love to see you try, mate! I don't like our odds. They must be silver rank at least. Crude fighting wastes almost all your potential. And you... Good judgment, but you're a bad quitter. Just as I'd heard, sadly. Iota. I've heard about them. I bet you have. Commander Alexandria's famed for her keen wit. How dare you take Dame Alex's name in vain, scum! We've committed no crimes. I suppose you can prove that. Well, proving a negative isn't really possible. But what you think you know isn't the whole truth. This sucker! Ah! Dame Alex! Senna! I'm so there! Sorry to go off book on you folks. Snuff. That's enough. It will suffice for this little trial. You struggle for your lives in vain. Ouroboros criminals. Those lives will be mine. This I swear. <sighs> They're a bunch of morons just as we'd heard. And rude to boot. Indeed. But that might make for a fun reception. What you think you know is not the whole truth. Huh. I do hope you'll tell. Looks like we managed to lose them. Oh, what in Her Majesty's ever-loving cheekbones just happened back there? Simply put, our foes were well-versed in the art of war. Though their methods were inelegant, to say the least. Inelegant? Like war's ever pretty. They're official at stockpiling combat rewards. That's how they managed to climb to silver rank already. I heard they even share their supplies with other colonies. That seems kind of awesome. Sharing supplies? Why would they do that? 
It would prove beneficial in the long term, I think. Creating debts to strengthen ties with other allied forces does open up your options, insofar as battle tactics are concerned. And if that leads to better results in combat, you can get your hands on even more goods. What I'm getting here is that they're trouble. Yes. And to make matters worse, Alexandria herself announced that they will come for us again. I bet us traitors would net them a hefty reward, huh? So how about we turn the tables on them, punch their lights out? Listen to yourself, you doofus. We're talking silver here, yeah? Well, whatever we choose to do, here's something to bear in mind. Colony IOTA's commando group is made up of four units. Regardless of the proportions we take, we have a high chance of encountering them. We should consider our approach carefully. Well, in that case, brush off the embers that fall on your coat, right? It may be best if we strike first. You're suggesting we march right into Colony IOTA? In terms of strategy, making the first move certainly would make it easier to seize the advantage. I think with our current level of experience, we should be able to take them on. But I'll leave the final decision to you. Anyway, even for a frontal assault, we'll need to prepare properly. Right. I'm in favor of the attack as well. But we should be sure to target the flame clock specifically and prepare for the worst. Yeah. Good to add I more names. That dialogue does change if you're not appropriately leveled. The time is now! Forgot to switch to that. Check out what it bombed! Good to add more names. Terran, strike. Good to add more names. Better give it a good one, it's over. Tipnos, heights. Ah. Uh, oh, what? Is this pony to arresting the I see some relations tree sort of situation? I see some relations have changed. More colonies added. Oh, what can good? I've got to keep their attention. There's some arachna. I'm glad we meet again, Uroboros. So, you've come to pit yourself against insurmountable odds? I admire your courage, at least. We don't really enjoy being hunted. The hunter's role is more our speed. Our time is precious. If you insist on barring our way, we'll do what needs to be done, old compatriot or not. No need for speeches. Now is a time for action. I do hope you came prepared. Her reasons. The traitors will receive my judgment. I'm the one who I'm not Give it your best shot. Give it up. Let me give you a I'm 
Phew. Made it through that somehow. How many times are we going to have to do this? I was just about to say that. A consul. Manners, cur. That is Master E to you. Ugh. I put a lot of effort into developing this drama. And now... Apologies. Had the bit of Great. Her spirit, then fashioning her in my own image. She ought to have been my masterpiece! What's the pillet going on about? <laughs> Alexandria, my cherished game piece. You should have made it much farther. Who are you calling a piece? Neither her nor us will ever be what you want us to be. Oh, oh. <laughs> of course. And of course, you, after all, that's just your role. Very well. I think it's time for a quick rerun. No use for all of these imbecilic side characters. Let's go. Return to your seats for Act Two. Courage! The curtains are back to rise! Let's roll. Everyone all right? Yeah, more or less. For now. But all this fighting really takes its toll on you. Oh, really? That's not how it looked from where I was standing. <sighs> it was impressive the way you beat him. And a big help, too. Wait, what's she saying? Dame Alex! I'm putting my foot down. Only boring run-of-the-mill plans from now on. This one gave me anxiety. I said I was sorry. Don't cry. So it all went down according to your calculations? Our goal was the defeat of the Consul and to be released from his control. Though it was a long acquaintance we had, at least until we uncovered that lie of his. What was he lying about? It's a long story. But anyway, making an enemy of the Consul would have been a big gamble for us too. So to weigh the risk, we had to figure out just how strong you lot actually were. So you used your friends and colony as bait. You thought if we were strong enough to deal with you all, we could stand up to the Consul too. You seem bitter about it. But there must have been another way. Dispatch a scouting party or... Oh, come on. We'd all reach homecoming before we got anywhere like that. Sure, but see how much it cost you. It's not worth the sacrifices. There is no victory without sacrifice. If you fight according to those musty old textbooks, you'll always be too slow. You're an old-fashioned man, aren't you, Tyon? What? Dame Alex, I don't think they'll respond well to that line of exposition. Only Ouroboros can destroy our flame clock. Shouldn't we consider asking for their help instead of riding them up like this? I'm not riling up anyone. Just some gentle teasing among friends. 
claim Alex doesn't actually believe the ends justify the means. You'll understand if you look closely at the colony and how things are here. What do you think? Might be good to look around before we enter into any partnerships. What if that's exactly what she wants you to think? Let's cross that bridge when we get to it. For now, I'd like to trust her. She was quite open with us this far. Good grief. How did softies like you even survive this long? Dame Alex. I'm sorry. I admit I may have crossed a line. <sighs> we'll have time to say goodbye to the old girl later. Come along. I'll show you how we fight here. I see some relations have changed. Really? Come on. No, I'll never follow. Just... Oh my god. Alexandria, move. another one. Levinus repair parts? We got them, but no means of transport. Usual route goes the long way round. No, there's a colony we could route through. Those cylinders, we'll manage. We can add two days. We can make it on time. Prioritize speed. Start with light goods. That's the list there. I'll forward it on, too. What do you know? They're really pro at that. They're not just regular soldiers. More like they're all officers. We're reading the flow of goods to learn of the war. It's a very flat hierarchy here, you'll find. Using a minimum of people to achieve maximum results. That's the way we like to fight. Of all the colonies in Ionios, we're a bit extreme in the way we use the cards. Pretty special, right? You mean the cards in the... iris? Yes. They tell us what's needed as of right now, and it's an easy and efficient tool. But soldiers' wills and skills, on the other hand... Feeling useful makes you confident. Confidence teaches a soldier pride. Pride binds the team, fosters productivity, and leads a colony to victory. Right? As a result, we can invest ourselves in more research, and it takes us a step beyond. A step beyond? Well, I did propose them. It's quite basic. Wait, the Collectopedia cards? You made them? The castle folk developed them. All I did was to issue the request through the Consul. Meaning you made a deal with the castle? Surely that's not... I didn't do it lightly. It was necessary. Doing the same as everyone around you, it's always the same outcome. Following the playbook to the letter is hardly a strategy. And so I'm old-fashioned? You're not mad this time. I realized there was no ill will. We fight when we're confident. You and I... I think we're the same in that regard. I'm getting the impression that something must have changed you. Thank the previous commander for that. He was a rash type, like this big one. It winds you up, doesn't it? I get what you mean. Oi, what the spark? No matter what happens, you fight to keep everyone alive. And that? That's what makes a colony. 
All right, Alexandria. I understand you now. Do you think we'll be useful? Doesn't matter. I don't see people that way. Oh. Time to head back. We've unfinished business. That's right. Time is precious. You <sighs> could have just cut seen this. So all that's left is to smash it, yeah? Yes. That way, Colony Iota will be free. I'll be honest. I'm not 100% on board with how you played this. I don't appreciate being manipulated. I'm sorry about tricking you before. I really do regret it. Yeah? What's to say you're not tricking us even now? Insolence! I'm sorry about lands, but I would like to know what exactly your goal is here. She when you think you. about rules, you have to realize that they are closely entangled with the intentions of whoever set them. I don't suppose you'll believe me, but I just want to see what life's like outside of those confines. No. I believe you. From everything you've told us, I can see how serious you are. Thank you. And I'm counting on you. Let's keep it on the straight and narrow from now on. Interesting choice of words. Lands? No, it's fine. I'm sure she's got nothing else left to hide now anyway. Uh, love? She's still hiding stuff. Dame Alex? No, I've got this. I'm... I'm not as old as I might seem. So, I don't quite have the authority you might think yet. You don't... Wait... Which term are you in? Sick? What? Shut up, you cannot be sixth term. Hush, not so loud. I thought for sure we were the same term. You just have this dignity about you. I work really hard for that, you know. Some colonies plan surprise attacks if they work out the timing of when the next generation of soldiers rolls over. And also, well, you know, reasons. What reasons? Dame Alex thinks she looks too young, so she likes to put on a touch of cosmetics to give her features extra character. That was not public information. You were just gonna leave them all guessing otherwise. Not really what I expected. Well, that's your fault for assuming, isn't it? Having presence is important for a commander. This might be going over my head, but it sounds like a struggle. <sighs> for your information, the only ones who know this are my team chiefs and Chickadee. This is one secret I expect you to take with you unto homecoming. We understand. We won't tell anyone. Here we go! that next time I'll take the offensive then we will get hopefully the last three three heroes I'm just checking yeah no the end game approaches See you guys then. Zeno Signing out. It's good to keep.